Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a composite figure, but we start with the missing side length. And remember, perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional figure. Two-dimensional meaning flat. So when we calculate perimeter, we need to add up all the sides. So if we're starting with a missing side length, the first thing we need to do is figure out what the measure of that side length is going to be. So we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one where our missing side length is this bottom side here. So we need to use the information that we have. So we're going to take a look at this two feet up here. We're going to use this and another portion of that figure in order to determine what our missing side length is going to be. So if we think about it, we need to go all the way across here to match the uh, missing side length. So that two feet doesn't go all the way across. So like I mentioned, we need another portion and it's going to be this seven feet here. If we have that seven feet plus that two feet, that's going to match that bottom side. So two feet plus seven feet gives us nine feet. Now we have all the information we need in order to calculate perimeter. So let's add up all of the sides. And I'm going to start with the two feet up top. So two feet, and I crossed it off. That way I don't count anything twice or forget to add any of the sides. Then we have four feet plus seven feet plus four feet plus nine feet and lastly plus eight feet and we can always double check to make sure we got everything uh, so one two three four five six sides and we have one two three four five six measurements that we're going to add up so we're good to go two plus four is six plus seven is thirteen plus four is seventeen plus nine is twenty six plus eight equals 34 and our unit of measure is feet. So our perimeter equals 34 feet. So let's go to number two where again our missing side length is at the bottom. So let's take a look up top and we have eight meters here. We're going to use this and remember, we need to go all the way across. So if we take a look at that eight meters and this two meters, that doesn't quite go all the way across because we have this gap here. So let's look down here and we have another eight meters. So this eight plus this eight plus that two will give us all the way across, which matches our missing side length. So eight plus eight is 16 plus two is 18. So our missing side length is 18 meters. Now we're good to go as far as adding up all of our sides in order to find perimeter. I'm going to start up top with the eight meters here and cross it off. Again, that way I don't count anything twice or skip anything. So eight plus 10 meters plus eight meters plus another 10 there plus two, plus 20, plus 18. And I'm running out of room, so I'm going to go down here and then plus another 20. So let's double check that we have all the sides included. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, so we match and we are uh, able to add up our side lengths. So 8 plus 10 is 18, plus 8 is 26, plus 10 is 36, plus 2 is 38, plus 20 is 58, plus 18 is going to be 76, plus 20 gives us 96, and that is meters. So perimeter equals 96 meters. So there you have it. There is how you find a missing side length of a given figure and then how we calculate perimeter. 
So there you have it. There's how we find our missing side length and then calculate perimeter. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.